So here we have the Ford Fiesta ZTEC on a 17 plate. And we'll start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through a few controls on the inside. But as you'll see from the outside, it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we've got a 60-40 split folding rear seat as well as a really decent boot size. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car now before we hop in and run through some controls. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way around. So just briefly before I climb in, I wanted to highlight the interior from this exterior point of view. As you can see, the seats are in lovely condition. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. The fuel gauge appears in the middle at the bottom and then above that on the trip computer you can see the total miles on this car are 1,337. You can change the information that's displayed there by pushing the button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of fuel economy info. Uh, backing out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side we've got stereo controls. The button in the middle is the voice activation for the phone. So once you pair up a phone, hit that button, ask it to dial in one of your contacts list and it will do that for you without you having to get your phone out of your pocket. That is, as I say, of course, once you paired your phone, which is done using the stereo system and the screen directly above it. Before we come back to the phone, uh, I'll show you this car's got FM radio. It also has AM radio, uh, which we'll get to, and DAB as well. So yeah, two different DAB outputs as well as two different AM and FM outputs. So plenty of stations uh, you can listen to. In terms of other ways to listen to music on this car, uh, you've got a CD player, a USB input, and also you've got the ability to connect up a device via Bluetooth audio. So once your phone is paired, not only can you make and receive phone calls, but you can stream music wirelessly as well. This car also has satellite navigation, which we'll show on that screen. Uh, there's a video on our Facebook page showing exactly how that works, which is well worth checking out. The main stereo unit is directly beneath that. You can see the CD player at the top of that the button for satellite navigation, CD, all the different radio frequencies, and then the Bluetooth audio and USB input or access here, and you can pair your phone with that button. Beneath that, we've got the air conditioning, so fan speed is adjustable on the left-hand side, temperature on the right-hand side, direction of the airflow, and then turn the air conditioning on by hitting that button, so it's off at the minute, or back on again. This car also has a heated front and rear screen. Beneath that, this button is the stop and start button. So this car is designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel. If you'd rather it didn't do that, hit the button as I've just done and it will turn that system off. You then have a five speed manual gearbox, a 12 volt charging socket underneath this cap and the USB input that I mentioned previously. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.